My role in the board is to assess how sound and how sustainable our country's policies with regard to migration, asylum, but also with regard to climate change and greenhouse gas emissions mitigation. So for example, we look at the rate of refugee recognition in the countries. We look at integration policies. We also look at how they've ratified the international, the international instruments related to climate protection. These are the kind of things that we assess in the board. I like to think that I bring an expertise with regard to asylum and migration, but also with regard to the global governance instruments. I would say that each member of the board has a specific domain of expertise, and together, by combining these different domains of expertise, I think we have a relatively comprehensive view of what sustainability means. Well, I think that a group like the Growth Petrochem has, can have a huge impact towards the sustainability and through the investments that are made, they can really make a difference when it comes to the sustainability of investments. So, the role of the board is to avoid that some investments could be made in a non-sustainable way and to make sure that at the end of the day, these investments are made for the greater good. Well, of course, there are two different models. Each model works pretty much in the same way, meaning that each model has a different set of criteria, looking at things like human rights, death penalty, freedom of the press, climate protection, protection of biodiversity, uh, asylum policies and migration policies. For each criterion, we give a certain score, and then each criterion has a certain weight in the model. And then we aggregate all these data coming from different sources, international bodies, international organizations, NGOs, and then we aggregate all these data and we score each criterion. And then at the end of the day, we have a score for each country that determines the sustainability of each country. Of course, there are differences between developed countries and emerging markets. For emerging markets, the criteria are a little bit different and the weight of each criterion is also different. So the models work the same way for industrialized countries and emerging markets, but of course the criteria and the weight of each criterion is slightly different from a model to another. <music>